Hi everyone, welcome to a new tutorial. Thanks for joining me today, it's been a while again. But I'm finally back with some new content. I've been working on some secret content, content as well. But I've now uh, finished this tiger. So I'm going to show you today the real-time process of the ear. So you're going to see the whole real-time uh, uh, video of that. And the complete tiger lesson can be found on Patreon for this $7 tier. So you can follow along with this whole tiger if you want to. Um, yeah, but for this video you'll, you're going to see the ear. You've asked for it, so here it is. I'm working with Polychromos on 10 by 12 brown pastel mat, 10 by 12 inches. So that's what I use. No other colored pencil, just the Polychromos. And yeah, I hope you'll enjoy. And if you have any questions, you can always let me know in the comments. All right, let's move on to these ears. Starting off with the left one. New piece of paper for my hand. Make sure you have a, a piece of paper underneath your hand too, because it really helps with the smudging. And you can see that the outlines of the ears, especially at the tip, are very dark. So I'm going to get black and start with a little bit of outlining. You don't need a very dark line around the ear. At some points, like here at the tip, there's a little bit more black. But I'm just taking it slowly at first. And if you want to move your paper, rather just lift it up and place it back down instead of like um, Shuffling it around. Let's see how well this black stands out from the dark gray background. All right, so it does stand out from it, so that's nice. That is nice. <laughs> So here at the start, there isn't a real black line, but I'm very lightly just doing a bit of outlining on that as well, just so I, I have a good idea of what the shape of the ear looks like. And then I'm taking this black at the tip, taking it down a bit more. All right, and then there is some darkness inside the ear as well, but I'm going to leave that for now. So no black yet, other than this outline. So I am going to start with a slightly darker base layer, and then I'll be adding those white hairs um, on top of that with a lighter color. So let's see which colors I see inside the ear. I see a bit of yellow again. I see a bit of brown, a bit of dark, dark gray, and a little bit of pink, but not too much. Let's start with a basic layer of Bister 179. Just to start out around the edges. Don't worry too much about 
the direction of the strokes here. Just going to put down all the colors that I see in the different sections. Right here we have the edge of the fur and then a very dark shadow behind that. So that dark shadow I'm going to put down with Burnt Umber 280. Here I'm simulating the edges of the fur a little bit by drawing strokes, small strokes. Then we'll be able to finish this part later as well. And here we have a little bit of darkness as well. Just inside the ear, right here as well. Very dark area. So I'm just mapping that out, not necessarily uh, with the correct colors, but we're going to build this up. I will also add some gray. Um, let's get some, some very dark gray, maybe some sepia. Getting some dark sepia, 175. I'm going to darken up this shadow a little bit at the start of the ear. Actually, let's do a base layer of dark sepia on the whole ear. Very light. I'd rather do a base layer of a dark color with light pressure than a light color with heavy pressure because now it will be a lot easier to draw all those um, light hairs on top compared to when you would do a heavy base layer with, for instance, a lighter gray. This will not be the only base color though, because I also want to add some colder gray in there probably, and maybe some beige. Let's just get started with this. All right, so now the paper's filled up, but I do need some other colors in there. So let's get some cool gray number two. There it is, 231, make sure it's sharp. I'm going to highlight some of the parts of the ear, like here we have a little bit of highlighting. I don't need to push a lot. 
and here on the edges on the transition into the black we have a bit of light So then I also want a little bit more yellow in there, so I'm going to add some a brown ochre 182 here, and then on this side, a little bit on this transition as well, a little bit here, just keep it quick, and then I also see a little bit of pink or purple, so I'm going to add some Caput Morton Violet. It will also look really nice in the shadow areas of the ear. So now we have the base layering done, so now I can start doing some texturizing and I'll be starting off with adding all those light hairs in the center. And then we can darken up around them later. So let's not do that with white right away. Let's get a cool gray first. Cool gray 1, uh, 230. And really watch the direction. They are formed in clumps. Some actually look a bit more like yellowish. So let's not do all of these with the cool gray. I'm also going to add some with ivory. But the most, most white looking ones I'm going to add with this. Quick strokes. Make the ears nice and fluffy. Alright, so I'm going to leave it at this for this color. I'm going to also add some hairs with ivory number 103. little bit of hair on this edge very short hair so I'm drawing quick short strokes trying to add just enough hairs but not too many I don't want to overdo it some are going in completely opposite directions so trying to get that 
variation in there as well. Okay, so that's it. Uh, maybe a bit more. But you can see in between the hairs there are very dark shadows. It almost looks black. So I think I do want to add a little bit of black in the very darkest areas. But I'm going around the hairs now. I wouldn't have been able to add all these very light hairs if I had done a black underlayer. So this is why I'm going around with the black later. Alright, so that's a little bit better looking. I do want a little bit more color in there, so I'm going to glaze a bit more brown ochre on top of these hairs. Some of them, especially here at the top, gives them a bit of tone. Maybe the base of some of them as well. And I think I want to highlight the tips of these larger clumps with white. Just to make sure that these lighter ones catch a little more light. They will get pushed forward a little more. Alright, so I think that's the ear for now. I can always come back to it. I don't saturate the paper completely when I work on pastel matte. I like the look of the texturized um, drawing. So I'm leaving it like this for now, but I do have to finish this little part of fur. Um, it's pretty light fur, it comes forward. So I'm going to do brown ochre. 182. And fill this up. Pretty heavy base layer because I want this nice and saturated. Keep an eye on the stripes. This one connects to the ear, so let's finish that. And then a tad of cream, but not too much. 
on this edge as well, just on the edge. I think I can go a little bit bolder with the colors on the face. So I might jump around now and then to just add a little bit more color. Um, and now, ivory for the highlighting. And then for a little bit more shadow between the clumps of fur, I'm going to add a little bit of Burnt Umber 280 onto the black and then taking it upwards, going in between the yellow tones. Alright, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll put in a scan of what the tiger turned out like, so I hope you like that as well. I'm really happy with what it turned out like. It was quite a difficult project to work on, but very fun as well. So if you want to follow along, you can have a look on Patreon. And then I will see you next week with a new video, new drawing. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.